The National Council of and for Persons with Disabilities has opened an advanced aquaponics facility in the south of St. Lucia as part of an initiative to demonstrate the potential for people with disabilities to contribute to food security. The $300,000 facility was funded by multiple organizations including the Global Environmental Facility, Massey Stores and the UNDP. The NCPD, President Murphilus James says the organization is supporting food production. By growing crops and tending to fish in this very neat, accessible facility, which makes agriculture extremely attractive and user-friendly. The facility contains a state-of-the-art prefabricated aquaculture system imported from the U.S. with fish tanks, filtration and temperature control systems. It features wheelchair accessible planting systems so participants with mobility impairments can tend to lettuce crops and fish. Plants grow without soil, extracting nutrients directly from water circulated from the fish tanks. We understood this one is the more advanced project on the island. Tell us all about it. We have spared no effort to ensure that this facility is the most advanced given our donor funding. The NCPD was very eager to make our donors proud, to show that we put their funding to good use. So we imported a state-of-the-art prefabricated aquaculture system from the U.S. with our fish tanks, our filtration system. We have a technology in here such as thermostats which control when our fans come on. We have thermometers that we could monitor the temperature from anywhere on our mobile phones. And we have planting systems designed to ensure ease of access by wheelchair users, by people with physical impairment, so that they can have fun and learn in this environment. The facility opened last November and began commercial lettuce production a few weeks ago. The NCPD plans to collaborate with the nearby Viewfort Special Education Center on a training program for interested students. One of the funny things is that especially in primary school, many of us were taught that you need fertile soil to grow crops. But in aquaponics, you don't need soil. There is absolutely no soil here. Our plants are just held in place by a medium. Sometimes we use sponges or coconut fiber just to hold them in place where they extract the nutrients from the rich water which flows from our fish system. So here we have two systems. We have the deep water culture or floating raft system and we have our grow tower system. So we commenced construction of this facility in last November and uh, we recently started commercial production here and if this facility is fully operated and managed by persons with disabilities and it is truly a wonder that uh, it demonstrates the potential for people with disabilities to take part in agriculture in an environment like this which is sheltered it is neat and it truly brings out a therapeutic aspect ncpd president murphilus james said aquaponics requires high startup costs which were covered by donors he hopes the initiative can be replicated throughout St. Lucia to involve more people with disabilities in agriculture. The NCPD Aquaponics Farm supplies produce to retail outlets including Massey Stores and Family Fruit Mart in La Ressouce, as well as hotels like Coconut Bay Resorts. Chuakim Duplessis, HTS News Force.